Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. And I wish I was Mitch Gallagher, but I'm Nick Bocott. We're going to talk today about the latest version of Katana from Boss. Boss recently announced the Mark II version of the very popular Katana guitar amplifiers. Now there are four members in the new Katana Mark II family. There's a 50 watt combo with one 12 inch speaker, a 100 watt combo with one 12 inch speaker, a 2x12 combo with 100 watts, and a 100 watt head. There are several major improvements to the Katana Mark II, but the great thing is the Katana I still lives within it because it wasn't broken so they didn't bother to fix it, they just added more and more is good. Let's look at what those features are. In fact, the Mark II Katanas are backward compatible with the Mark I's. So if you've created presets in a Mark I and you upgrade to a Mark II, all the sounds are still compatible and move right forward. There are new features here as well, but everything's based around the same proprietary tube logic modeling that Boss developed. Now, tube logic goes in and looks at things on a component level. The preamp tubes, the power tubes, all of the components are modeled, and those are brought together to give you a very realistic emulation of a tube amplifier. And in fact, one of the great features about the Katanas is that the power amps are so realistic. Now you can power scale these amplifiers, so for example with this 50 watt we can go from 50 to 25 to a half watt, and with the 100 watt versions we can go from 100 watts to 50 watts to a half watt. This makes them great whether you're rehearsing at home, practicing in the bedroom, whether you're, uh, you're on stage, you're on a big stage, it's going to cover any application that you might have, and in fact you can use these on silent stages as well, because there's a direct out with three different speaker emulations that you can load up that allow you to plug straight into a recorder or to a front of house system. Just like Mark I, there are four electric variants in the front end, clean, crunch, lead, and brown, plus the acoustic electric one for acoustic guitars with a pickup. What they've done also is they've added a variance for each one, so in addition to having those five originals, there are new versions of each of the five. The clean variants goes from the Mark I, which was a fairly English kind of clean, to a more sparkly, spanky American clean. The crunch kind of goes just up a notch, so think Plexi going to JCM 800 in the Marshall range. The lead, just more in your face, more modern. And brown goes from a Plexi with a Variac on it, which is what Edward did in the good old days to the new 5150 kind of amp. The Mark II versions also feature more effects than the earlier Katanas. In this case, we have 60 different boss effects that are loaded on board, and you have access to those when you're using the software to edit the uh, presets inside the amplifier. You can have 15 different effects active at once inside the amplifier, and they split it out so that we now have actually five controls over those effects, so we have five different types of effects available simultaneously. We have mod effects, we have a boost effects, we have an effects effects, we also have delay, and we have reverb, and again, you have independent control over all five of those right from the top panel. All the parameters in the amp can be saved in presets, just like with the earlier katanas. Now, Boss refers to these as channels. With the 100 watt amplifier, with the head or the combo or the 2x12 combo, we have four channels and A and B variations of each of those channels, so that gives us eight presets that live on board, or we can also switch and use the controls on the top panel live. With the 50 watt version, we have two channels with A and B variations, so that gives us four presets plus the panel controls. 
Now we can access those from the top panel, or you can access them using external foot switches, or you can use Boss's GAFC foot controller to access the presets as well as other controls within the amplifier. In addition to the onboard effects, we have a full complement of connections on the back panel, so we do have an effects in and out, so you can use external pedals and rack gear with this amplifier as well. We also have a power amp input, so you can use this with modelers, or you could use it in a stereo configuration as we'll see later. We have a headphone output, a line output, and a USB output. The headphone, line, and USB outputs all feature speaker emulation, so you could route direct out of those into a recorder or a live sound system. We also have an aux input, so you could route your music player through the katanas as well. But of course, what really matters with any amplifier is how well it sounds, and the new katanas sound great. Let's listen to the eight different electric amp variations, and we'll also listen to an acoustic guitar example. I've set all the controls to 12 o'clock. The gain's at 12, the volume's at 12, the EQ's at 12, all the effects are turned off, so we're just going to hear what happens as we shift through the different amplifier types. We'll begin with clean one. Thanks for making my job so easy, Mitch. I've just sat here, watched, and learned a few cool riffs, but let's talk about a few other new things that have been added to the Katana 2s. Now, you can do all of this stuff via the Tone Studio, which we'll talk about in a minute, which is their app that's a free download. You just connect to the amp and you can program away to your heart's content. But on the 100 head and the 2x12 100 combo, they've got the cabinet selection modeling on the front panel. So you can go from modern to vintage to deep for each one of the channels, and they're very different sounding and also feeling emulations, which adds to the versatility of the amp. Like I said, on the 100 1x12 and the 50 1x12, you can access that via the Tone Studio, which we'll get into in a minute. Now, to me, the beauty of the Katana is not just how it sounds, but how it feels. I've used this live at some pretty, for me, big gigs, including opening for Zach Sabbath, which to me is a definite big deal. And I did so using the emulated outs. That's how good it is. And you can't mess up in front of Zach Wilde because he will kill you. No, I'm kidding. But you have to set the bar high. It's not just good enough. It was great. The sound guys were impressed, and I was impressed. In addition to using Katana Live, I used the Katana Artist on all of my riff and lick videos. We just take the line out straight to the camera, and hey, presto, I'm done. Just like Katana 1, the thing I really like about Katana 2 is just how guitarist-friendly it is. It's very intuitive. And for someone like me who can barely walk and chew gum at the same time, that's a godsend. 
So if I want to create a sound, I don't have to plug a computer in. I just dial all the controls on the front panel, the EQ, the amp type, the effects. When I hear something I like, I just press the channel I want to, to go to for about two seconds, all the lights flash, and then hey presto, it's there forever. I can use the GAFC to switch between my four presets, and I'm ready to rock. And like I said, if I can do it, you certainly can. In fact, a chimp probably could. To illustrate that, let's quickly dial in a sound using the front panel. In fact, I'm so confident I know this amp so well and because it's so intuitive, I'm going to dial this in blind, or should I say deaf. I'm just going to go for what I think will sound good and then we'll suck it and see. So, first off, amp type. I'm just going to go all the way to brown because that's how I roll. Gain at about 10 o'clock. Volume, roll it back a bit to about 10 o'clock. Bass, all the way up. Middle, I'm going to leave in the middle. Dun, dun, da. Treble, I'm going to put at 3 o'clock. Now, as you can see, we've got two concentric controls here. The outer one is the boost, the inner one is the mod, the modulation. So I'm going to turn the outer one, it's green, which is a blues boost. I'm going to leave it there, just give it a bit of a goosing on the front end. I'm going to put a hair of chorus in, about there. Delay, ah, I need to hide my dodgy playing. So yeah, we're just going to go to about there, and I'm going to tap it. There we go. Reverb, that's plate, I like that. Then presence, midway, master, a little bit down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm so confident, I'm going to save this to channel two. So I'm just going to hold that down until everything flashes. Then hey presto, there it is. So now let's see what I've done, if it's good, bad, or indifferent. And if this sounds bad, it was not my hand doing it, it was Mitch's. You got it? Cool, let's check it out. Result. So Nick, I know you sat down with the Tone Studio software, which runs on Mac and PC, right. and that lets you really dig in deep. You can do things like modify the signal flow even. You can put effects before the preamp, after the preamp, almost like you have an effects loop. You've got noise gates in there. I think I mentioned earlier, there actually are 60 effects that you can load into this. And all that happens via the computer, which gives you a very easy graphic way to set all these presets up. And I know you've programmed four different uh, presets using Tone Studio to demonstrate some of the things you can do. Yeah, so let's check them out. So what I'm going to do, folks, is this. I'm going to play, but we're going to go to screenshots so you can see exactly what I've done. Ready? Let's roll. Channel one. <laughs> Next up, sound two. Crunch channel, gain not that high, a little bit of front ending, from an emulated pedal, and um, just think low gain, high wattage rock. Think Australia, think man dressed as schoolboy, think one of the best bands on the planet ever. <laughs> Next up, brown sound. Lots of gain, lots of front ending, subtle phase, unsubtle playing. Last but by no means least, lead with lots of ambience to hide my less than perfect playing. None more imperfect. Here goes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
last feature we want to show you in the Katana Mark II amplifiers is the stereo link capability that's built into all the 100 watt versions. Now this allows you to go directly out of the line output on one amp into the power amp input on the second amp. Secretly behind the scenes, the effects that are inside the Katana amplifiers are actually stereo. So when you set up the routing this way, you get a stereo setup with just one cable between the two amplifiers. Very cool and it sounds amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Katana Mark II amplifiers from Boss. Nick, these are amazing sounding amplifiers. I know that you've been using the Katana Mark I, but I have a feeling you're gonna to upgrade to the uh, Mark II. Oh, without a doubt. In fact, I'm breaking my piggy bank tonight to try and upgrade. They feel good, like I said. To me, that's the most important thing. It's not just the sound, it's the feel. Right. And they're very uh, symbiotic, like all good amps should be. They respond to your playing touch, or in my case, lack thereof. So. <laughs> Well, they sound great no matter what you're doing to them. And with those eight different amp styles, the ability to stereo link the 100 watts, the ability to shift the power down, whether you're in a bedroom, on stage, or in a rehearsal studio, or a recording studio for that matter, the direct output with the speaker emulations. There's so many great features in his amps. They come in at an amazing price. You definitely want to check these out. So for Nick Bocott and myself, thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects. We'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thank you.